Elderly men escape nursing home to attend world's biggest heavy metal festival. Welcome back to another episode of Gen X and Millennial Memes, where we finally remember all the things we didn't know we forgot about. Please consider hitting that like button, and if you haven't already, smash subscribe, click the bell, and select all notifications so you don't miss new episodes that we put out every Friday. I think I got a bunch of good ones for you today, so let's get into today's episode. Now slowly release the clutch and accelerate. Gen Z. Lord help me. Mom does know everything. She's in her recliner listening to ZZ Top, drinking dad's beer, and fact-checking Google. Well, you better fact-check Google. Just because Google said so does not mean it's right. I came across this article recently. Wyona Ryder was reduced to tears on the set of Stranger Things when the young cast couldn't identify a vinyl record. Just think of all the things that they had to teach the kids on there to make the TV series seem authentic. I'd say they had a pretty big learning curve, but they did a pretty good job at it. Another recent news article. New cartridge releases are taking retro gaming to another level. Apparently, they're making new cartridges for the original NES and even the Super Nintendo, as well as the Atari. So if you've kept your system all these years, you might finally get a chance to get some new games. I'm not going to bother reading this because we all just read it in his voice. I love finding baby pics of my sister. I thought this was pretty funny. Because you just know that someone actually did this to their sister's photo. I asked my sister's daughter what this is, and she said it's a microwave. Well, I can't really blame them. If a kid had never seen the old TVs before, a microwave probably is the closest thing to compare it to. I'm going to bed at a reasonable time tonight. Me at 2 a.m. watching Unsolved Mysteries. What's the dumbest thing you believed as a child? That nap time was a punishment. That is true. You know you're getting old when you look at the clock to see if it's late enough to go to bed. Fact check true. This looks like a dope concert until you realize it's a cotton harvester. At first glance, that really does look like a concert stage and a whole crowd standing out in front of it. Disney animator in the 70s. None of you get this now, but wait 50 years. If you get it, drop it down in the comments. There's two reasons you know this was from the 80s. One is because it's Masters of the Universe, and two, because somebody took a photo of a photo. Because that's how we copied pictures back then. The furniture that my grandmother left me. The furniture I'm going to leave. Sadly, with the way things are today, this is probably true. Here's one for you guys. Family told to change son's Skywalker name or seek Disney's permission. London. A family was told to change their son's name or receive permission from Disney after a passport application was rejected. 
That's right, folks. You're not even allowed to name your children without a copyright strike. Just because the name was used in some movie. Can you imagine if they do this to all the names that are used in movies and TV shows? How many people would have to change their name or pay for copyright permissions? Who else thinks these 70s conversation pits need to make a comeback? If you built one the right way, they're actually pretty cool. However, these days, hardly anyone would ever sit down there because everyone's busy on their phone or computer. Me yelling representative to the automated customer service. This is true. You've probably already been through the automated system at least twice and it hung up on you both times. So now you've called it back for the third time, just trying to speak with a real person by any means necessary. I hate those automated systems. I even called a local pharmacy just today and I couldn't actually talk to a person at all. Even though I went through their entire automated system, the only thing that it finally allowed me to do was to leave a voicemail. It's getting more ridiculous all the time. Before phones, what did people look at while they were driving? Well, most of the time, they were trying to push in the car's cigarette lighter, waiting for it to pop out, and then trying to light your cigarette. Other than that, we were fiddling with the radio dial or trying to find the right cassette tape to put in. Came across this one a couple weeks ago. 80s blockbuster film set for the sequel with original cast 40 years later. Hugely nostalgic 1980s hit film, The Goonies might finally be getting a sequel. A classic 1980s film is reportedly set for a sequel over 40 years after its release and with stars from the original cast set to return. In my opinion, they should not make a sequel. I don't see any possible way that this could turn out to be a good thing, especially in today's woke Hollywood. Harry and Marv got out on bail. Looks more like today got probation with community service. Imagine yourself in a quiet, peaceful place. Gen X. The only generation that became 30 at the age of 10 and is still 30 at age 50. Kid swallows gum. Dad, you know that's going to be in your stomach for seven years, right? How many of you guys heard this when you were kids? If you don't know where this picture is from, you're not old enough. And if you know, drop it down in the comments. The older I get, the more I can relate to Clint Eastward's face. Kids growing up now. Kids when I was growing up. This is very true. When I was a kid, there were no phones or tablets. We read cereal boxes at breakfast. Yep, sure did. And sometimes they'd have a game or even a record. Never trust someone who doesn't sing along when Bohemian Rhapsody is playing. I'm this old. Yeah, I'd be like that one guy that had the whole collection. I think he had Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, Hardee's, and a couple of more. Young me, full of hopes, dreams, and optimism. Me now. This is true. The tool that developed my cat-like reflexes 
for pushing the pause button just before the DJ came back on. I used boom boxes plenty of times, but I don't think I used one of these to record songs off the radio. In high school, running into each other at Walmart. Boomers asking Gen X to save them from cancellation. Apparently, this is a thing now. Last week's episode, I had a news article, and I've also seen several other posts and other things about the same topic. Me to my alarm clock every morning. I wonder when the Bermuda Triangle stopped working. Not a lot of drama there anymore. Actually, about a month ago, I think it was, I saw something about a ship that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle about 20 years ago. Apparently, someone just recently found it. Sometimes I feel bad for yelling at my kids. Then I remember that Darth Vader cut off his son's hand. And I don't feel so bad anymore. 90s kids moving their TVs from one room to another. Yeah, well, let's see you move one of the big wooden TVs that way. The older I get, the more I get this. 90s hoverboards. Gym class used to be lit whenever the teacher pulled these out. Forget about those. The ones that we had were made out of wood, and they had real casters with ball bearings instead of those office chair wheels. You almost never hear jokes about Jim Jones. The punchlines are too long. Yeah, that might have been too dark. I finally know why they call me a grown-up. I groan every time I get up. This is true, especially this week. How it started. How it's going. You know, I had never thought about it before, but when you think about it, they're actually not that far apart. Mom, I want a normal picture for the church directory. Okay. Me. <laughs> oh, man. The death of the American Mall. This was Friday night. In the 90s, this would have been packed. Yeah, it certainly would have. I don't even know how malls still exist. The last one that I went into... And I can't even tell you how many years ago it was, but at least half of the stores were empty. Kind of weird that a restaurant called Popeye's doesn't serve spinach. I've never been to a Popeye's chicken, simply because there is none of them around here, but you would think that they would have thought about this. I think I must have missed this one. Some of you never peeled the styrofoam off a 16-ounce glass Coke bottle, and it shows. Yeah, back in a time when soda tasted so much better. I'm going to tell my kids this was Ken and Ryu. Well, it could be. The 1980s. The future is dangerous. Don't go any further. If we would have had a choice, and if they would have told us that back then. You know why I pulled you over? No, sir. 1987. The 7 Eleven on Main. You paid for a Coke. But filled your cup with a Slurpee. We got you. We finally got you. These days, 
It actually wouldn't surprise me. It probably would still have an 80% charge. You're a kid again, and you've got a quarter. What are you picking? I would say Sunkissed, but I actually liked Crush better than Sunkissed. So I'd probably pick Mountain Dew. What about you guys? Rappers today looking like doodle bears. Yeah, them. And a lot of these other people with blue hair. I don't care who you are. When Journey comes on, you become a small town girl living in a lonely world. Me realizing that kids talking about the 90s today is the same as kids in the 90s talking about the 60s. Well, here's at least a glimmer of hope. Gainesville girls learn car repairs for when emergencies happen. At least they're teaching something that might be useful. Remember when typing was a high school class? Yep, I sure do. And our typewriters didn't have any letters on the keys. They were just blank. So the first day when I walked into the class and I saw that, there was a big picture of a typewriter on the wall. So I sat at the typewriter right below it. Because I assumed that day wherever we sat was probably going to be our assigned seats. And sure enough, I was right. So anytime I couldn't figure out where the key was, I just looked up at the poster. Me seeing the therapist not laugh at my joke and start taking notes. If any of us Gen X was to go see a therapist, after we left, they'd have to go see their therapist. Up your butt and around the corner might have been the illest comeback of the 90s. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that that's true. I still remember the one that my dad made me when I was a kid. I'm so old school, my first game console had wood grain paneling. There was no better meal in the 1990s. Actually, back in the 90s, I think Burger King's 99-cent Whopper beat anything that McDonald's had hands down. What's a TV show that went on for way too long? I'm going to say The Simpsons. How many of you guys remember The Simpsons arcade game? I guess it's when arcades began to phase out. However, that show's been on since 1989 for three and a half decades. In my opinion, it should have ended a long time ago. But most of us know why they're still making new episodes. Let's just say they like to put a lot of messages in them. When I was a kid, this literally translated to change the channel immediately. This must have been wrote by a Gen Z. How many of you guys watch the Waltons? Things we always saw at Grandma's house. This is very true. Some of you never ran from the cops on a two-stroke engine as a kid. If there's one thing that Gen X loves, it's being told who they are and what they should do. Kids who wouldn't let you borrow a pencil in class don't let you merge on the highway now. Well, that depends. Did you see the signs for five miles that that lane was going to end? And instead of getting over like everyone else, 
You tried to speed ahead until you got to the very end of the lane and then try to cut back in line? If so, no, we're not going to let you over. And we don't feel bad about it either. What happened to house parties? Nobody has a house. You can only bring back one store. Well, Toys R Us is actually coming back. I think they have actually got some locations already open. And I saw something about Blockbusters is supposed to be opening new stores in some kind of form. So I guess I'd have to go with Kmart. Be humble. You won't stay fresh forever. Yep. Very true. Do you ever feel like your body's check engine light has been on? And you're still driving it like, nah, it'll be fine. I think it's more like, man, if I can only make it a little while longer, then I'll try to fix it. Back when it was acceptable to let kids play on hot baking sheets. This is very true. And you can see that this slide has been around for a while. Because you can see the support bar showing through the front of the slide. Putting out $200 into savings every month won't really make a difference in the long run. So you might as well keep purchasing Ninja Turtle merchandise. It skyrockets in value. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Dave Ramsey didn't say this. Pin My Ride, 90s edition. Yeah, we didn't actually buy things to put on our bicycle spokes. We use things like playing cards. And I remember some people in past episodes in the comments section talking about how they cut open plastic bottles and use them because they'd last a lot longer than playing cards did. Pick one that will be free for life. Well, the one that I would actually pick is Culliver's, but it's not on here. And there is no Chick-fil-A, Jack in the Box, or Panda Express anywhere even close to me. And I wouldn't want to go to Starbucks anyway. So out of the five remaining, I guess I'd have to choose either Subway or KFC. Although the fried chicken at our local truck stop is a lot better than KFC. And they have a Subway in there too. 90s kids look exhausted after dragging around 600 pounds of denim all day. There was one time back years ago that I worked with a guy who had a custom pair of bell bottoms made. And the bottom of the pants leg was literally about three foot wide. I can't even begin to remember what he told me he paid to have those made. I bet nobody under 40 knows what this is. Right, because all bread is digital now. Why would anybody say that for? I just bought a pack of rolls the other day that had one of these red clips on it. The Confuse Your Kids Starter Pack. That would do it. Me at 18. As long as I get in bed by 3 a.m., I'm good. Me now. It's already 8 p.m. We can't start a movie this late. I agree with this, but then I end up watching YouTube Shorts. All you have to do is click on one, and the next thing you know, you've been doom scrolling for two or three hours. Life update. I'm losing my gaming skills. I lost my gaming skills some time ago. I actually tried to use a gaming controller, and I couldn't even begin to keep up. Now, if I play a game, and I'm using a mouse and a keyboard, I can still do okay. 
Or at least I could the last time I actually played anything. And I'll end this episode with this. Remember when we used to laugh at the commercial? I've fallen and I can't get up? Yeah, it's not so funny anymore. No, no it's not. If you made it to the end of this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. If you like this video, click on one of the links above to see more. I thank you all for watching. Take care. Stay safe. This is Acorn. Over and out.